you figured it out right I hope so it's pretty simple all you need to do now is you also have to add the bound for the y-axis right just like we did for the X so it's going to look something like this if the players position dot y is bigger than the minimum y and smaller than the maximum y then only only then we're just going to move the player all right so it's all in the bound in X and Y so if I run this and check for one of the directions yeah it's working so the next thing that we want to do is make this like um, fix this sticky issue so if I now press any of the button it's not working why because as you can see the Y position of the player is now 4.5000 which is smaller than um, this minimum Y so if I go back to our script in our script we mentioned that this movement code should only work if all these conditions are true right well so if we see the position in X is uh, obviously this is true 0 is smaller than 9.8 0 is bigger than minus 9.8 that's also true this one um, position dot y is bigger than min y the min y is minus 0.4.5 and the current position is smaller than that so basically this condition is now false all the other conditions are true but because only one of them is false this whole thing becomes false right because all of them are uh, combined with this AND condition. So what can we do about it? Well, let's start by the right edge. Okay, so I'm just going to play the game again. So what we are going to do is that if the player is, if the player moved outside the bounds, for example, in this case, it moved outside the maximum bound, then we are going to pull it back a little bit right so now it's in in the bound again so we can move it again so how can we do that that is where we need another conditional right so that means we're going to say if this condition is true do this but what if this condition doesn't true or this condition is not true what should we do then that is when we are going to use else if right so if the condition above this statement is not true then we can check for this condition so we, we can check that if the position of x is bigger than max x we should do something about it right so that means if this condition is false then we are, we are just going to do something else what is that we are going to move our player a little bit in the left right so we're going to do position minus if I want to make the player like if I want to move the player a little bit left which direction should I move I should move in X direction right X in a negative direction so I'm just going to put a little bit of fraction value here so what we are trying to do here again we are taking the position of the player and we're taking away a small bit of number in the X direction so that will give us this effect a bumpy effect but it should work you'll see so as you can see when I try to move move right it's always trying to pull me back and I can actually go back right awesome so let's do the other one um, let's try to do another one which is going to be the minimum X sorry mean X so yeah if the position in X is smaller than the minimum X then we have gone beyond the minimum X value so we are going to add a little bit to the right so that it goes back to the bound again let's see it see it in action yep it's working that's cool so now it's your turn complete this code so that 
it also works in y direction because we have um, take care of the x direction but if we still go up you can see we are stuck so fix that issue try it by yourself first and come back to the next lecture where I show you the solution